Thank Dr. You. Barnes. Well, defending champion Andre Agassi expected to lead the field as the tennis tour heads to Paris. Early round coverage begins uh, tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock on ESPN. And stay with ESPN right through the championship finals on Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. For more, log on to ESPN.com. And for Barnes... Impossible, 243. And 243 win, win a lot of title matches, but... It's Wiseman's night. Four strikes away from the ten thousand dollars for the three hundred, but the, the money the money's nice, but it's the history of becoming one of the select few to shoot three hundred on television. Ninth frame for Wiseman. No. And he leads the four, the six, the seven, the ten, the three hundred is gone. And now, all of a sudden, there's still a brief, a slight opportunity as we watch this ball go right through the heart. There's the four, six, seven, ten. Wiseman will just go for the count. He needs to mark in the tenth frame to shut this match out. I knew that was a bad shot all the way. Going for the count. But Marshall, that's right. Uh, you know, Danny needs a mark. And it's his tournament, but Barnes sitting there thinking maybe we really don't have a shot now. Well, if, if, if Wiseman were to throw an open frame, get nine on this, on this frame, it'd be 241. Barnes can shoot 243. And I guarantee you, if he does open the door, well, you'll see Barnes pop out of his chair in a second. Just needs a spare and a couple of pins. More speed. And the 10 pin. Boy, put, put a lot of excitement back into the match because it was over after the first eight strikes. This ball rolling a little faster down the lane, catches a little bit of the head pin, leaving just the 10, and now it's as simple as Wiseman picking up the 10 pin. Barnes certainly knows the score. Wiseman certainly, uh, you don't get here without picking up all your spares. Great spare shooter, switching to a harder ball. That's it. He put some excitement back into it. All right. He knows that he knows he just needs to stay behind the line, get a couple of pins, and the title will be his. Yeah, two pins, and uh, Danny Wiseman picks up his eighth national championship. And more frustration for that man, Chris Barnes. There's the title. There's your winner, Danny Wiseman. Well, he is really bold. I mean, Chris Barnes is bold well all year. Uh, Danny Wiseman is bold great on the fall tour and uh, wins here the 2000 Columbia 300 Open. All right. Wiseman, I'll tell you, it's been a while since he's won. And I know the feeling when you haven't won in a few <laughs> years, it's, it, even though he's been up there high week in and week out, until you actually get it done, until you walk through the door, you don't know if you can. And the frustration continues, as you mentioned, for Chris Barnes. Another week. We have one tournament left. That's next week, next Saturday, a week from Saturday. Chris Barnes, after he fired a 255 in the uh, semifinal match, again, the lanes change quickly. Well, they do, and, and Barnes didn't make the adjustment fast enough on this right-hand lane. Now, in the 10th frame, he's just, he's just getting up there and getting the business over with. But, you know, you've got to give all the credit to to Danny Wiseman. Starts out with the first eight strikes in a row. Makes a little bit of excitement in the ninth frame, but he took care of business. He's your winner. Congratulations, Danny Wiseman. The Professional Bowlers Tour on ESPN is brought to you by Columbia 300. Columbia bowls the world over. And the winner, Danny Wiseman, he comes through big time with that 252 to Chris Barnes, 232. Congratulations, uh, 
Danny Wiseman, your eighth victory. It's been a while since your last one. Yeah, just call me the two-and-a-half-year kid because it's, <laughs> it's been two-and-a-half years, and before that it was two-and-a-half years. So um, I, I would really love to thank everyone at Columbia 300 uh, for your sponsorship. Um, you know, it's without these companies we wouldn't be here right now. Um, I'd like to thank Highland Lanes, um, John Donovan, and, and the entire staff. You guys did a tremendous job this, this week, um, and I look forward to coming back here. Let me tell you, you guys are great. All right. All right, before the uh, presentation, let's uh, send it on over to my partner, Marshall Holman. Marsh? All right, thank you very much, Phil. I'm here with Chris Barnes, and it seemed like the right-hand lane just gave you a little bit of trouble, and you made the one bad shot in the seventh frame. And right there, it was pretty much the game. Yeah, you know, I wasn't giving the pocket away nearly as much as Pat and Danny. I hadn't been able to get it back all week, actually. Uh, and that right lane hooked more. And I got fooled there and left the four pin. And uh, the right lane was only was tight, and I knew I couldn't get it right. And I just made a really bad pitch after the four pin. Opened the door up and pretty much handed it, the match to Danny. But he pulled a great game. All right, well, you've got one more week to get the job done, get that <laughs> first win for year 2000. Still a great year from Chris Barnes. And uh, we'll give it back to you, Phil. All right, thanks a lot, Marshall. Let me bring in uh, Roger Vessel, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Columbia. Boy, it's a beautiful trophy. Beautiful trophy. Danny, congratulations on an outstanding week of bowling and a great finals here tonight. On behalf of Columbia 300, I'd like to present to you the 2000 Columbia 300 Championship Trophy. Congratulations, Danny. Thank you very much, Roger. It's, you guys are great. Thank you. All right. Of course, along with the uh, trophy, goes a little money. All right, let's, uh, let's bring in John Donovan, general manager here at Highland Lanes. A sensational tournament once again. Congratulations on you and your staff. I think we ought to give the uh, staff here congratulations because what a great week here in Austin. It sure was. Uh, Danny, on behalf of Highland Lanes, the Austin bowling community, and all the volunteers here who helped us make this tournament possible, I'd like to present you with this check for $20,000. Congratulations. Thank you very much, John. Th thank you. God, I don't know what to say. You know, I just, uh, this, is, this is just, you know, it's been so long. I've made so many shows, and, uh, you know, you just keep pushing yourself to, to keep going. Yeah, and and it, it's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> well, you, you had the tournament pretty well wrapped up late in the game, shooting for a 300, and at least it wasn't a 10-pin. That's true. <laughs> uh, a little soft there for the big four, but I, I didn't even know what frame it was. Um, you know, I, I thought about going back to the way I used to bowl on TV. Don't even look at the score. Don't watch my opponent. And I've gotten out of that mode, and I, I did that today. I looked up, and, you know, I big four, and I didn't know what frame it was. So, um, you know, I just, just try to make good shots. Congratulations, Danny Wiseman, your champion. Join us away from Saturday for the final telecast of the 2000 season. The tour stays in Texas for the Lone Star Open from Diamond Lanes in Pasadena. Coming up next on ESPN, National Hockey Night, the Dallas Stars versus the Buffalo Sabres. For Marshall Holman, I'm Phil Ferguson. We'll see you next time. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.